Welcome back to Gomer Plays The Legend of Zelda, everybody! Ha <laughs> ha Last time we took on level 5, beat Dig Dogger, and I was severely underprepared for that. Um, here, we're coming to level 6, and we get to meet Wiz Robes. And, hi! Aim at the eyes of Goma. Goma. Yeah, it, it sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to say my name. Aim at the eyes of Goma! Yeah, but you know what? I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> uh. Boop. And by the way, their magic shots can only be reflected, or deflected rather, um, by a magical shield, which I currently don't have. Because I am a bit of a masochist, apparently. At least... Wait, did that thing just take away two full hearts? It did! Holy shit. Yeah, those are some pretty that's some pretty powerful shit. Which means without the blue ring, they'd be taking off four units. Um three shots once I have the magic sh uh not shield but sword. Um but this dungeon I believe is the dragon dungeon. Oh. I was about to say, oh god, have we have we reached a manhandle the mini boss? Because you know they happen. I, I, there's also one in level 4, but I decided not to go for it. Nope, nothing in there. Okay, nothing important. Just a bunch of fucking keys. Traps. This is fun. Whee! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, fuck me sideways. Blue whiz robes introduced the exact same level as these orange fuckers. They tend to fire when they are directly in line in the line of sight with you, and thank goodness I didn't have a magic ow. Yeah, once if they're facing you, they will likely fire upon you. Uh come here. Yeah. You see what they like to put together. Interestingly enough, it's things like that. The enemy placement, the 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 ow 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 shit. Oh shit 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 shit. Oh that's close. Uh oh hi Gliok! How you doing? Three headed Gliok mini boss. Good. Okay. I keep missing. Here we go. Here we go. Whew! Now you get to get a good look at the damn skull there. Holy shit. Looks pretty awesome, I think. Yeah, you gotta hit him right in the fucking head. There we go. Ah, oh. there'll be one other one. Trust me. Ah, uh. yay! Everybody, stop! Stop! Sword time. And map. See, here we go. The dragon. Got yeah, the dragon's tooth and the maw and everything. Oh shit. Uh, there, ow, whoa, motherfuck. Okay, hi. Alrighty. I better switch to something else before I accidentally use that. Because I don't need to do that. Um, and this is the point of the game where the dungeons are going to get a little more complicated um, up until the final one. Magic Wand! It basically gives you the same power as the Wiz Robes. Some enemies can be defeated by this. I think a lot of them, I know a lot of swordless run quests, uh, they, they, you know, swear by this thing once they finally get it. Uh, it's a good sword substitute if you can get your hands on it. Um, so it's going to be pretty cool. You're going to have fun. Of course, it doesn't work on fucking whiz robes because, fuck, because, God damn it, Miyamoto. Oh. And I can still attack if a bubble gets me. Thankfully. So, nope. Dead end. That's okay. It's been a while since I've been through level 6, obviously. They gave me bombs. Wizards give you bombs. Another life lesson from The Legend of Zelda. Thanks, Miyamoto! And some of these, some of these rooms, 
the blue whiz robes are can be positioned and, and manipulated in such a way as you can get them as they're going through like lava or whatever, <laughs> which is pretty interesting. Uh, so yeah, apparently the wand has about as much power as the white sword. There we go. And as I said earlier, magic sword, you can. Oh shit! Oh oh oh! Ow 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 ow! Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm being a little reckless here. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Come here. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You're lucky I didn't need it. <laughs> hey! Now, later I can get a power-up that'll allow me to shoot flames from this. Well, I'll shoot the thing out, and then... Oh, hey, the boss is over the next door. But we can't get to it that way, so we gotta go this way. Ah, huh. you bastard! Mm. In fact, he's right up there. And because I want to save hearts, I'm gonna just go on up. Here he is. Bot. One shot. One shot. Really? That is such an anticlimactic boss if I have ever seen one. That was Goma, by the way. Only way you can damage it is hit it in the eye with an arrow. But don't worry, there are more. There will be more. Oh, yes. There will be more. Ah, so with this, we've got the sixth piece of the Triforce. <laughs> um, don't have any other places to go. And by the way, you notice in the last video, I went down the side stairs. You come up here and you just kind of appear. You don't do the little... Thing. So, yeah. So, let's warp whistle until we reach the entrance to level 3. A lot more convenient than those paths that you opened up with the... God damn it. Can we just... That's always fun. Alright, level 1. Yeah, thanks a lot for almost depositing me on top of an enemy, asshole. Level 6? No! It is a bit random, I think. <laughs> okay, here we go. Maybe it has something to do with the way you're facing. I don't know. Never, never really paid attention to it very much. Maybe there's a thing to it. Here we are, level three. And we don't want to go in there. We just want to get over here because that's... Pro I, and you know what? It probably is still quicker than just hoofing it. <laughs> oh, you know. But hey, you know, you get, you, you know, you grow, you learn, you grow, all that good stuff. Um, there are plenty of areas that do require the whistle to open up as well. Uh, you'll see more of them in the second quest. Now here, it's a lake without a fairy. Most lakes do have fairies. This one doesn't. You play the whistle. I had just killed an entire micro ecosystem. I should be... Actually, I should be ashamed of myself. So, here we are. Level 7. Um... I don't remember what this one is supposed to be. If I find the map, I'll be able to tell you, though. Mm. Eh, get over here. Assholes. Alright. A lot of bombable walls in this area, and I forgot something very important. Didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, thankfully I'm only the second room in, so I'm okay. So I'm good, I'm good. I don't have to go very far either. That's good. That's that's also good. Um, at least I don't think I do. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, kill you. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the food. You know, when you go into level 7, you have to have food have to pack it otherwise uh, you're not gonna be able to get through it uh, because there is there is something in the way that's gonna require that food and unfortunately you cannot feed it you although that would be that would probably be an instant game over if you could feed it you just saying boy this is really expensive yeah 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 shut up Ah, uh, that was one of the things I did in, like, one of my failed uh, videos, actually, was I grabbed the food, 
and I showed off how it works normally. Enemies will go over there, they'll just congregate over there a little bit. And there you go. You can kill them with ease. Uh, and it doesn't go away. It does not go away uh, when you use it. Unless, you, you know, except for one particular purpose. Oh, one of them did it. The other one is like, hey, fuck you. I don't want your germs. I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat something that you've eaten. You could get germs. I could get fucking cuties. Hey, moblin eat. A whole shit ton of moblins. Yay! Eh, let them eat. Let them have food. <laughs> okay. So. With a full inventory. Well, almost full inventory, I think. Alright, let's do this again. Uh, again, this is going to have some pretty bomb up some bombable areas. Um, plenty of bombable walls. So, uh, getting that upgrade in level 5 actually is going to be a big help. Uh, ah! There we go. Knock those guys out. And go on up here. Um, kind of flying by the seat of my pants at this point because I'm barely remembering blue Gorayas. We haven't seen you guys since level 2. Okay, I think we go up here. This looks familiar, yes. Now if we just get over to the other side. Ah, uh, bubbles. You can't get me, you can't get me. Neener, 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 neener. Ha ha. <clears throat> Hi, Dig Dogger. I could just avoid you, but I want to show off. And he splits into three. Why he couldn't do that? Why why the boss couldn't just do that? You know, split into three. I don't know, but but I think there is a trick to actually get through the Dig Dogger boss in level five. Um, Ro Mythel probably knows it because he's doing he's done the minimalist run, and I think the recorder is one of. No wait, no, you have to get it anyways, don't you? Maybe I was wrong. I'm talking out my ass now, because you have to have the recorder in order to open up this level. <laughs> Oops. But I think there is a trick to it. Grumble, grumble. Oh, are you hungry? You hungry, Mr. Goraya? Here you go. And he takes your food. That's why you need it. Because you cannot get past that. Oh, you little. Um, You know, I have no idea what this is. Maybe this is supposed to be the dragon. And the other one is supposed to be something else. I don't know. But it looks, it looks weird. And of course, it has an eye. So if it has an eye, odds are, it's going to have a secret. And the secret in this one is the, actually the dungeon item. So, I haven't been using the blue candle a lot. Um, and, and it's for good reason. It only works, you know, one time per screen, bosses nearby, and which has no bearing on whether or not I can use it. But, you know, it's one time per screen. If you, Once you use it, you have to go to a different screen in order to get another charge. This item changes that. That's the red candle. Which admittedly looks more candle-like than the blue candle. Which, I'll go ahead and switch to it that way. Watch the upgrade! The red candle... Allows you to make fires, well, however often you want. Two at a time. You don't even have to leave the screen. Speaking of leaving the screen, this other, this other wall here is also bombable. Kaboom! <laughs> uh, ow! Fucking Gariahs? Yeah, Gar blue Gariahs and blue Dark Nuts, they're dangerous for their own reasons. You know, blue Dark Nuts, you can only hit them on three sides, they like to face you. Meanwhile, the... Oh! Another Dig Dogger! Really? Huh. I kinda don't remember that, but hey, you know what? I'll face it. Good thing I showed off a bit earlier, huh? So you guys know, I got this handled. Ow. Oh, motherfuck. There we go. Come here. Thank you. And, oh, hey, Dodongos, too. Holy shit. There's another set of three Dodongos around here, too, man. Come here. One of you, like, eat one or something? I don't know. There we are. And blow up that wall because we're going to need to open it. Wow! And I got more bombs for my trouble. That's good. 
Always good. Um, always good to get replacement value. Bubbles. It seems as though there's nothing in here. However, this uh, room... <laughs> Wallmasters! Hi! How you doing? And now you got bubbles knocking you around too. Which, you know, as long as I'm using the magic wand, it's not a problem. Because, hey, you know, I don't need the sword to defeat them, as you've seen. Wallmasters, if I've been grabbed by one, I've been taken all the way back to the beginning of the goddamn level. Which is not good. Uh. And if I'd grabbed a, a stopwatch before they were all finished, um, the rest would have just stayed in the fucking wall. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the boss is in the next room, and this one you can get to. Um... Uh, there we go. Alrighty. Are we ready? Who is this boss going to be? I wonder. Who is this boss going to be? Hmm. Boss is... Oh my god, Aquamentus! From the first level. But he's no stronger. It's like, really? Were you just that hard up on, on cartridge space, guys? I mean, I mean, it's possible. But you couldn't have, like, up, you know, like, up to his HP or something. At least. I mean, at least with Gleok, you get more heads when you fight him. You know, Goma, when you fight Goma later, you get, you know, different things. Yeah. So, seven pieces of the Triforce. Now we can go to level eight. Get that piece. I'm going to take the long way because I kind of want to pad out a little bit. I am admitting it, at least. Um, yeah. Fairies. Hmm. Fairies, just in case I run into any fucking dragons. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, um, <laughs> oh, what to, what else to, to discuss? I, there is a thing in there where I can, like, open up the, uh, uh money-making game, but, eh, I don't need to. I haven't needed to this entire time, so, good for me, I guess. Um, uh, let's go up, and to the right into areas I usually don't explore when I'm playing through. Um, the good thing about the red candle, if you miss a bush and you want to try and burn down the entire forest, you can! You can do it in one screen. Hooray! <laughs> it's great when you're actually trying to find secrets and shit in the overworld, you know, when you're trying to burn down trees and all that. It's really great. Like, if you miss one, I could just... Ah! Fuck. I don't even know if the other one opened up. Uh, okay, let's see. Nope, that one does not. That's fine. What about this one? Oh, that one does. Okay, what's in here? It's a secret to everybody. Okay, a secret, huh? All right. I'll tell you what, Mr. Moblin. You, you, you've got to pay a pretty penny for my silence. If you give me anything, le if you give me anything less than thirty rupees, then uh, I'm, I'm just not going to be quiet. Well, suit yourself. Hey guys, your buddy's in there. He's hiding out. He's defecting. You might want to tell Ganon. <laughs> I wonder if Link actually did that, and, and like the Moblins would just be like, "Oh, uh," they wouldn't believe him. I don't think they would believe him because you know he's the enemy. You know, why would you believe the enemy? So anyway, level eight. There's like with the blind idiot translation of this game, it's hard to find on your own. Unless you just go around and just burn down forests, like this. Which I guess is a good reason to have the red candle. Because uh, you're going to be burning down a lot. This right here is the entrance to... Level 8. The Lion. Oh, so with that, uh, we're going to end it here for this video. Um, the next one, I'm probably going to make it short. Just finish this up and then go into the ninth level. Because I want level 9 to be its own video. Uh, and I don't want this one to run super long either. So I'll, I'll figure out some things to do with the next one. Um, but, but between now and then, you know, it should be, should be all right. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. If you would like, if you like this, you want to become a patron, just follow the link that's been scrolling by down below throughout this whole video. You can join those other lovely people that are down there. Um, and you'll also help support equipment upgrades and all that really good stuff through Patreon. Um, so yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian. Signing off.